My name is Alex Pennington, and we are the Aspiring Writers United. Today, I'm going to be weighing in on the discussion of which is better, self-publishing or traditional publishing. This has been one of the most hotly debated topics within the writing community for years now. To begin this, let's talk about the elephant in the room, money. If you are simply going for, hey, which one will make me more money, traditional publishing wins. I'm sorry, but when you look at the amount they make per publishing contract, they make a lot of money. It just, it's where it is. If you're wanting to be a full-time author and make this a real profession and career, you have to go the traditional publishing route. That's not to say you can't have a career in self-publishing, but it's much more difficult to do so. Now, I want to dispel a certain rumor, though, and that's that when it comes to traditional publishing, a lot of people have the belief that you have to give up your rights. And I just want to say that's not true at all. Before you go into traditional publishing, something you really have to do nowadays is get a literary agent. And one of their purposes is to, you know, get your publishing contract. And the good agents, they really make sure you're not giving up your rights. You're not giving up more royalties. You're not giving up your foreign rights. You have control over your story. And so this idea that whenever you give the publishing house their manuscript, they have permission to change your story and do all this stuff, it's not really true. I mean, I'm sure that you have to do some edits because you will be working with an editor from this publishing house and they might have some suggestions and things that they think could be better. But that's not to say that you need to go and change your entire manuscript. And so, this whole idea that self-publishing gives you more control, yes, it does, but it's not like you're going to be forced to change your entire story. So let's get into self-publishing for a second. Another rumor that I hear is that self-publishing is free. And if you're watching this and you're a self-published author or thinking about it, I want you to know, if you are wanting to do self-publishing right, it is not free. I mean, think about this. The traditional publishing houses, they invest a lot of money into those books. Why shouldn't you? I mean, if you are legitimately wanting to have a career as an author, you need to be willing to invest money into your story. You're saying, no, I don't want this publishing house to invest money into my story, so I'm going to do it myself instead. And that's fine but you actually have to invest. Because what I see a lot of is people just writing a story and then publishing it. And I'm sorry, but the probability that you are actually going to make a career of this is very, very small. So what I suggest you do is hire an editor, hire a quality book cover designer, get beta readers, you know, you have to be the person in control of your story. And yes, you need editors. If you go the traditional publishing route, which I still suggest you hire an editor before you start querying an agent, the agent will probably edit your manuscript quite a bit. Following this, the publishing house will edit your manuscript quite a bit. You yourself will edit your manuscript a lot bef before it's actually put into print. So your story is constantly being revised and improved, and that's great. Except when you go the self-publishing route, this editing process often doesn't happen. And let me just tell you, as someone who's done many, many, many rounds of edits on his own manuscript, and then actually gave it to an editor, you're going to miss a lot. And you actually might not even know what you're missing. You, you might just be oblivious to certain things which is okay, but you have to have that opportunity to go back and make changes. And that's part of the beauty of having an editor. And so if you're going to self-publish, put in the money and put in the work. This isn't publishing for free. If you want publishing for free, I'm sorry, but I doubt you're actually going to have a writing career. And I know it's expensive, and that's, that's a drawback that most people don't talk about. When it comes to self-publishing, everyone talks about you know, you get all this creative liberty, you have a decision, you have choices about your story, you have all this great stuff, all this control. 
Yeah, but that control has a very big financial burden in that if you don't put that money forward, book designers, editors, marketing, etc., your book might flop. In fact, there's a high probability, I am sorry to say, that it will flop. Now, I want to talk about the other piece to this puzzle. Anyone can self-publish. I could write two words on a blank piece of paper and self-publish that. I can make a hand-drawn co cover, publish that. I could do all that. There's nothing stopping me. But when it comes to traditional publishing, you have gatekeepers. These are people who tell you no, who say, no, you're not publishing that. And these people are agents or editors or the publishing houses themselves. But there's a certain negative connotation behind this in that people think because they're in your way and stopping you from self-publishing or just, you know, publishing in general, that they're bad and this is a negative but it's actually a positive because whenever you get rejected I really hope that your first instinct isn't I'm a terrible writer I should have never written this story I have no idea what I'm doing blah 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 don't be so negative instead think okay this got rejected how can I make it better and maybe you go back and edit Maybe you put it aside for a month or two, go read some books, and you go back and edit. My hope is that by doing this, you will go, oh, that's probably why this got rejected. You'll kind of start to see the cracks in your armor, which is okay because whenever you see what's wrong, you can do things to make it right. I mean, if I'm off my, my previous editor, Ashley, who's going to be my current editor in a couple of weeks, I'm excited about that. She pointed out some great stuff in my story that was like, hey, this isn't working. And I didn't know that. I had no idea. I was, again, completely oblivious. But I can tell you, if I would have queer queried a literary agent, he would have shot me down because of those things. And so, yeah, we all want to write the perfect manuscript, but you have to be able to accept that, hey, it's not perfect, and I can actually do work and make it better. And that's a positive thing. Because every time you edit, you're getting better and you're taking a step closer to publication. And so when it comes to self-publishing or traditional publishing, self-publishing, anyone can do it. But if you want to do it right, it's really expensive. Just putting that out there, it's not cheap. And you shouldn't go the cheap route if you're serious about your writing career. Traditional publishing, it's... You know, unless you hire an editor, it, it can be free. It can be, seriously. You don't have to hire an editor, even though I highly recommend it. But there are a lot of gatekeepers. There are people who will say, no, that's we don't like this. I'm sorry, but we don't. And so you need to make the decision for yourself. What matters more to you? Getting published fast or giving yourself the highest probability of having a long-term success because hands down the money is in traditional publishing if you want a career it's in traditional publishing occasionally there will be a breakout self-published author but this usually comes from an incredible book idea or they have a large social media following there's something special it's not the average and so what do you like are you leaning towards self-publishing or traditional publishing Again, you know, I have seen success on both sides of the spectrum. I always lean towards traditional publishing, just because there are so many more resources. Having an agent, having an editor at a publishing house, these are things that will make you better in the long term. Thank you all for listening, and please comment below. What do you think is better, self-publishing or traditional? Comment below.